So in verses 4 to 6, then, Paul describes the unity of life and mission of the church in Christ. Or he writes, there is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to the one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in all. These verses bring to mind 1 Corinthians 12, 12 and 13, where Paul writes, For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For in the one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews and Greeks, slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of one spirit. You notice the word that keeps repeating in this? One. The oneness of God is reflected in the unity of God's church. The triune God is one in three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The three persons of the Trinity are distinct in themselves and in their work. Each have a role to play in the church's life and mission in the world. The church is one body with many members. Paul expands on the meaning of the church's diversity of gifts in 1 Corinthians 12, 14 to 26, in which he uses the metaphor of the human body and its various parts to explain that each of the church's members have a role to play in God's mission. Each member brings his or her own distinct gifts and abilities that contribute to the church's life and witness and mission in the world. The church is the body of Christ.